and leaves getting ready to do a uh, full sewing we're going to be using some wavy hair I'm going to do a swoop in the front this is my client and we are going to show you how we can do a full sewing using a weave net so we're going to go ahead on and get started and we'll be back to show you our first process. I didn't eat no steak. All right, so we've got our braid pattern done. We've actually did a braid around the perimeter here. And we just braided up the rest of her hair. And we're doing this video, ladies, to let you know that even though you may have some hair loss, some kind of hair problems, you can still get your hair done. Don't think that there's nothing that you can do to your hair. You can still get a sewing, and we're going to show you exactly how. So again, we did this gray pattern, and I'll come back with you after we get our hair net sewed on. Okay, so we've gotten our weave cap sewn on. Actually, we used a weave net in the back, and we use the weave cap that has the braids already attached. So the braids are in the front with the cap, and then we just use the regular net in the back. And I'm going to actually start sewing the hair on. Again, you can see the actual braids and the cap for the front and we did this because of the hair loss in the front to make sure that it's going to be nice and full and sew down the edges so that it could be a nice firm tight fit edges on both sides and we're actually going to be using this hair which is Missouri and it's actually really wavy. I actually started with the sew-in. So this is the hair. It's actually an auburn and a brown mixed. A light brown and auburn. So we'll be back and let you see once we've got half, at least half of it done. Alrighty, we'll be right back. Okay, so we're about halfway done. It only took me like 20 minutes to just sew the waves on. We still have the top, the very top top, which is where we're going to be doing a swoop in the front. So we will be using some straight hair for our swoop in the front. But so far, this is coming out pretty full. We'll add some more hair. This is one pack of this hair. This is the Zori hair and it's the weave hair. So, I'll be back very shortly. Finish off the waves and then uh, work on the swoop. Okay, so we're back. We finished all the sewing of the wavy hair. It's coming out really pretty. It is actually 14 inches long. And again, it's a light brown with an arbor mix. So it's like a two-tone color. So it's all sewn in. I have this going all the way around. Um, we still have our very top front up here, which is where I'm going to do uh, her suit for the front. 
call to rely on group now. So again, we are here to help you get the justice you deserve. All the sewing of the wavy hair is done and completed. And I'll come back to you once I've finished the swoop in the front. All right, thank you. And we'll be right back soon. Total, we've been spending, we've been doing this for a total of an hour with the braid pattern and with the sewing. All right, we'll be back soon. Okay, so here it is, our finished product. We have the waves in the back, and we've also got the swoop down in the front. So there you have it, ladies. Just because you have hair loss does not mean that you cannot get your hair sewn in and get a weave and extensions. It is definitely a way to do it. This is our finished product. Again, this is using the wavy with the soup in the front and the color is uh, 430 light brown and a, a 